Follow me. In a world teetering on the precipice of fear and panic, one individual emerges as the steadfast voice of reason amid the tumultuous storm. This enigmatic correspondent possesses an unwavering belief in the power of critical thinking and the importance of avoiding the perilous traps of hysteria. With each carefully chosen word, he pins a powerful plea to the masses, urging them not to succumb to the relentless fear-mongering that envelopes their lives. As the world grapples with an ever-expanding list of crises, the correspondent introduces a profound revelation. Panic itself is the second worst thing anyone could do in times of distress. He paints a vivid picture of the fog that enshrouds rational thought when emotions run rampant, making it nearly impossible to find sensible solutions amidst the mayhem. Yet, while pain is a formidable foe, the correspondent cautions that there exists an even more insidious danger, the deliberate installation of panic in others. With a sense of urgency, he points out that those in positions of authority and trust can manipulate and coerce the population with alarming ease once panic takes root. The historical echoes of past manipulators, like Hitler and the Nazi party, reverberate as stark reminders of the potential consequences when fear is weaponized. However, the correspondent's attention quickly shifts to the present, unearthing the events that unfolded since the fateful March of 2020, a time when humanity found itself coerced into a state of fearful compliance, convinced that a lethal virus looped, poised to decimate millions. With each passing day, people retreated to their homes, livelihoods shattered, and dreams deferred. Yet, amidst the prevailing panic, a flicker of doubt emerges from the correspondent's words. He challenges the prevailing narrative, daring to ask a poignant question. What if the so-called deadly virus was, in fact, nothing more than the common cold? A viral agent that the human immune system, honed over millions of years, could effortlessly dispatch? It's a daring proposition that flies in the face of conventional wisdom, but the correspondent maintains that every doctor, nurse, and pharmacist worth their salt knows the truth. He implores the masses to seek out knowledge beyond the manipulative confines of the internet, delving into books and old tomes where unadulterated truths lie hidden. And so, armed with an invigorated pursuit of knowledge, the correspondent elucidates the human immune system's extraordinary capacity. A magnificent creation honed through centuries of evolution, designed to confront the daily barrage of cellular debris, from the dead cells we shed to the dust floating in sunlight. He emphasizes that viruses, merely microscopic particles, are a natural part of existence, Mama and vaccinating baby. against them would be akin to an ever-ending Sisyphean task. Amid the fervor and chaos, the correspondent remains a beacon of reason, imploring people not to succumb to the allure of panic decision-making. A potent reminder that critical thinking is a gift bestowed upon humanity, a precious tool that must be wielded in the face of uncertainty. As the world prepares to face new challenges, the correspondent's voice continues to echo. He warns against blind acceptance and encourages the masses to question authority, especially when the threat of more lockdowns glooms on the horizon. Memories of past consequences still fresh in mind, he urges individuals to weigh the costs and benefits of such drastic measures. Yet, even in the face of potential global catastrophes, the correspondent finds an undercurrent of hope. He believes in the innate resilience of the human spirit and its capacity to overcome adversity. However, this resilience can only flourish when the shackles of panic are discarded, and people embrace the power of their minds. With the specter of UFOs and alien encounters now encroaching upon public consciousness, the correspondent remains wary. He warns against potential holographic manipulations that could stoke global panic, advocating for skepticism and discernment. In conclusion, the correspondent's profound and poignant message resonates across the ages. Resist panic, challenge authority, rely on critical thinking, and embrace the strength of the human spirit. In this unyielding pursuit of knowledge and reason, lies the hope for a brighter, more enlightened future.